soldiers scarred by their wartime experiences can overcome their trauma through an interactive program developed at USC, says psychologist Skip Rizzo. And the patient has complete control, but we can put them in an environment and gradually ramp up the provocative nature of that environment. And in that way, the patient is given the opportunity to confront challenging traumatic memories and emotionally process some of the demons that come from them. Did something happen to you that's been bothering you? A computer-generated military veteran acts as a counselor for troubled soldiers or vets in an online program, also being created with military funding. The character is a simulated life coach, says program developer Josh Williams. They can be given a preliminary assessment of whether they should be more concerned about the symptoms that they're experiencing. Um, and given that assessment, uh, the sim coach can escalate uh, the conversation to suggest, well, you really should talk with someone. The simulated coach can refer the patient to a counseling center in his or her area. In another virtual program, novice therapists hone their skills with simulated soldiers suffering from post-traumatic stress. Computer scientist Patrick Kenny. Because we use uh, speech recognition technology. So the, as you talk to the character, it recognizes your speech and that goes into the system. The system basically comes up with an answer to, to your question and responds appropriately. There was an explosion, then gunfire. That's all I remember. The USC researchers are also creating programs to rehabilitate the physically disabled by modifying existing game technology. Mark Bolas says this system uses a three-dimensional camera from Microsoft's Connect system. Let's say you want to put somebody through an exercise where they have to show balance between their body. Well, this three-dimensional camera could quickly determine that my hand is reaching out here, this hand's reaching out there, but in fact, I can reach further with my right hand. Program developer Evan Suma says the system can be customized for individual patients. And so the therapist is able to configure or set uh, exactly how the patient would interact with the game, and then they can just play it. The Virtual Reality Center blends insights from the academic world, Hollywood, and the military, says researcher Skip Rizzo. You know, they're three completely different cultures, but when you throw them all together in a building and say, have at it, build some VR stuff, you get some interesting results. Rizzo says these virtual programs cannot take the place of human interaction, but they do provide additional tools for therapists. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.